So I think there's a lot of misconceptions when it comes to supplements, especially natural supplements and those for health. And so I wanted to clear up some of them in this video. Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jody, and I help you change your beliefs so you can change your body, your health, and your life. This video is going to be a little bit different to usual, I guess. I've spent a lot of time this year really studying gut health and health optimization in general. I've been studying blood chemistry. And so I wanted to talk about a few things that I've learned doing that, and then also cover some of the common misconceptions around supplements. So I guess one of the main things I've learned from studying blood chemistry in particular is that there's a big difference between disease management and health optimization. So when you get your blood test results back from a doctor, they will usually refer to your results to reference ranges, which are based on the general population. And when you consider a lot of the population is not in a state of health, it's probably not the best indicator to compare your results to and that is where having optimal ranges comes in. If you compare your results to an optimal range for health, that is really going to give you a better indication of where you are sitting in terms of your health. So just because you don't have a disease yet doesn't necessarily mean you're healthy. You can feel fine, but you also have to remember that chronic disease happens slowly over time. Like it's not like one day you are healthy and then the next day you are sick. Chronic disease takes months to years to like fully express itself. Now, if you do go and get your blood results and compare it to optimal ranges, what you'll find is often you have certain markers that are lying outside of the optimal range. And that's what you need to address often in terms of supplementation, but you don't want to start there. What you need to do next is also look at the symptoms that you have. And symptoms can be literally anything. Acne can be a symptom. Bloating can be a symptom. Pain after eating certain foods can be a symptom. Frequent UTIs, reoccurring ulcers, all of those are symptoms. And yes, you can continue to mask them by taking pharmaceutical drugs to kind of get rid of them temporarily, but that's all you're going to be doing through that. You're not actually going to be getting to the root cause. And that is where looking at your blood results in combination with your symptoms becomes a lot more powerful because then you can really see what is going on and what you need to address to get to the root cause. This is where natural supplements can come into play. And I have become much more of a fan of them because Working with many clients now and analyzing their bloods, I have seen that a lot of you are not as healthy as you think you are. So many of you have gut issues that you're not even aware of. And once you get to the bottom of these, a lot of your other symptoms will clear up. Now, I think it's very easy to look at natural supplements and I'm talking about health ones like vitamin C and herbs and those kinds of things. I'm not talking about fitness supplements like protein powder in this video, but looking at health supplements, it's very easy to compare them to pharmaceuticals and think they're the same thing, but they're not. The pharmaceutical drugs are obviously synthetic, but they're also a lot more potent. So you might take one tablet a day and that's going to work on your symptoms. Whereas natural supplements are less potent in most cases, so you're probably going to need to take a lot more of them to have the effect. And that's totally fine. I know a lot of my clients get shocked when I tell them how many supplements they need for a particular gut protocol or even just for health maintenance. You have to remember natural supplements and pharmaceutical drugs are not the same thing, but they can both work. There's a quote that goes around something like, for every human disease, there is a plant that cures it. And I'm really coming to the belief that that is true. Anyway, so pharmaceutical drugs also have a lot more severe side effects. Not all of them, but often a lot of them do than what a natural supplement would. Another misconception when it comes to natural supplements and being healthy, and I definitely have this for a long time, is thinking that just because you eat healthy and you eat lots of fruit and vegetables, 
you don't need any supplements to help support your health. But what you have to understand is even if your diet includes lots of fruit and vegetables, the soil that these vegetables are grown in is not the same as what it used to be in terms of nutrients. And where do you think the vitamins and minerals come from? They come from the soil at the end of the day. So our fruits and vegetables are grown in depleted soil and so they're not as nutrient dense as what they once were. And I know a lot of you don't eat a lot of meat these days and that's fine. I support whatever you choose in terms of your dietary preferences and you can achieve body composition goals regardless of what you eat exactly, but we're talking about health now. And when it comes to meat, that is one of the most nutrient dense foods you can eat. And so if you go and remove that from your diet, you're going to be missing out on vitamins and minerals that you won't be able to get enough of from vegetables or it's gonna be really hard for you anyway. So you will need to be supplementing with B12 at the very least because that is only found in animal products. But even when you look at things like iron that is found in vegetables as well as meat, but it's absorbed differently by the body. So you're gonna need a lot more vegetables to get the same amount of iron than what you would from a piece of meat. So what I'm saying basically is it's very hard these days to get optimal levels of all the vitamins and minerals just from your diet alone. Another common one is vitamin D and a lot of you are deficient in it because it's not possible to get enough sunlight to get enough of it. And I think I've mentioned this before, but I was deficient in vitamin D and I live in a very, very sunny spot. It's sunny most of the year here and I get out in it as well. And some of you might be thinking, oh, maybe it's because you're wearing sunscreen and so that was blocking it. I don't wear sunscreen. So I was getting out in it, no sunscreen, no blocking it wearing clothes like this so my skin was actually exposed and I was still deficient. Now, one last thing that I've learned that's very important when you're looking at these supplements is it does matter what type you're taking and where you're getting it from. So in some cases, any product is fine. In other cases, things like vitamin D, vitamin B12 as well, they're best absorbed in the liposomal form, so the liquid form, so you're better off going for those rather than tablets. And then with things like iron tablets, the ones that you can get from the pharmacy, they're actually not very well absorbed. And the worst thing about those is they can be very hard on your gut. If you do need iron supplementation, you're much better off going for a desiccated spleen or liver capsule and that is going to be best absorbed. One final thing, just remember natural supplements can't be patented, whereas pharmaceuticals can. So that means you can make a lot more money off pharmaceuticals and that is relevant when you start looking into all of this, but that's another topic. Anyway, I think that's enough for this video because I've started construction work outside and it's getting loud. So, I am fascinated by this stuff. I thought I would share some of that with you just in case you're interested. And I think it's really important as well. Take responsibility for your health. The healthcare system as it's at in Australia especially is very much a disease management system. It is not a health optimization system. So it's really on you to do more research and yeah, take your health into your own hands. That is all for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to send me an email. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. And if that is the case, I will see you in the next video.